chairman of the Jamaica Football Federation's Finance Committee, Dennis Chung, has confirmed with TVJ Sports that he's considering the offer to take up the post as general secretary with the same organization. Kayon Rayner now reports. Dennis Chong on Tuesday revealed he was mulling whether to accept the offer to take over as General Secretary of local football's governing body, the JFF. It's early days because, you know, we haven't reached any agreement. What I can say is that um, since the reports have come out, I've received an overwhelming amount of calls um, locally and internationally in support of it um, and also with the president. So... You know, um, we're looking at it and seeing what happens. Chung's comments come days after the JFF wrote and battled General Secretary Dalton Wind, noting they were cutting ties. That came approximately four months after Wint advised the JFF boss Michael Ricketts that he would step aside once his salary of close to $9.5 million was paid in full up to December 2023. When contacted on Tuesday, Wynn confirmed with the TVJ Sports that he received written communication from the JFF days ago, but said he was yet to respond. It's understood his legal representative was perusing the offer, which would see him only receiving around three months of remuneration. Incidentally or not, Chung, along with noted attorney Patrick Foster and human resource veteran Janet Henry, served on a three-member advisory committee formed by the Ricketts-led JFF to advise on HR and legal considerations to settle the matter with Wint. An impeccable source indicated that the range of options presented to Ricketts did not include the payout for the remainder of Wint's contractual period. Wint had turned down an initial offer when he met with the advisory committee in early August. In the meantime, Chung was quizzed as to whether he intended to leave his position as chairman of the Finance Committee given issues of conflict of interest. Of course it would be a conflict of interest and um, I would definitely have to give up that position because that's the person that I would be reporting to. Um, the Finance Committee chair would oversee the operations um, and I've already been speaking to the president about that situation there that if I was to take it up then someone suitably would be identified someone of, of, of very good experience and who understands um, finance and accounting. So those are issues we realize. Chung says his lack of experience as a football administrator will not be an issue. The whole matter of governance and the business side of it is key and one of the things that's important. So, I mean, I think that's the greatest application um, that can be done. And that's what I'm going to be looking for. And remember that, you know, I mean, if this is something I take up, then I'm one person. So, you know, you don't, you don't look at one person and say that they make an organization or make an administration. You know, um, you put people um, in their respective roles and, you know, you lean on people. Chung, a chartered accountant, has spent the last two years chairing the JFF's Finance Committee. Prior to that, he had a short stint as president of the Jamaica Cycling Federation. TVJ Sports understands that he is set to the mid office as chairman of the National Solid Waste Management Authority shortly and will also leave his post as chief executive officer at Supreme Ventures Services Limited at the end of this month. Keon Arena reporting for TVJ Sports.